Hey guys and welcome back to the channel Platinum Bricks 95 and firstly I want to start by saying sorry that this isn't my entire Lego Marvel collection. I really do want to apologise but I, I really underestimated how much of an undertaking filming that video was going to be. Number one, I can't actually find anywhere to um, literally film it like and get all of the boxes in shot so it's becoming very difficult but I have started. I'm about halfway through it, so it should be coming in the next video. It won't be a review, it'll be the next video, all right? So hopefully that's okay with you guys, because today we're actually unboxing some stuff finally. This is my first ever Lego haul video. Um, this is gonna be, well, I did do one before, actually, um, but it wasn't, like, I didn't really know what I was doing. Uh, this is gonna be the first official one, let's say that, and it's only a small one, but I do wanna, start doing these videos and again with time i will find a better way to film these videos because i'm still experimenting with the best way to film things best camera angles best best places to shoot stuff so i'm still learning but like i said we're going to be taking a look at these today and i guess we'll get right into it all right then guys essentially here we are here are the packages that i'll be unboxing today uh, i've only got three uh, and i know what they all are so it's not like a mystery but my Bricklink orders will be coming soon and I'll, I'm going to like do a specific video for Bricklink because I feel like that's a bit more interesting than just watching me unbox sets really. Um, but we'll get into the first one. I know what this is. And again, in my Lego review, uh, Lego Marvel collection video, you'll see why I, I got that completely wrong. Right. Scratch that. Um, I actually thought these were going to be um, my two Lego Chitari I'd ordered. And actually, it turns out, if I can get into them... Right, bear with me a second. Hang on, hang on. Here we go. I'm in, I'm in. I finally got Louie, Dewey or Huey, one of them. There we go. I hope, I hope that's focusing. I'll put my hand back here. Hopefully that's in focus and you can see that. That is from the Lego Disney Collectible Minifigures Series 2. And it was the second to last one I need. So I wanted to pick that up. And also, if I'm right then, in here is the last one I need. And I'll do a video, or I might even show you a bit later actually in this video, my what I've done with my collectible minifigs. They're on the shelf above me here. You won't be able to see, but they basically run the length of the shelf. And I'm working on building a huge stand for all of my collectible minifigures. So yeah, um, and this is the second one, if I can get him out of it. Oh, he's, had to, oh, he's falling apart, he's falling apart. Right, it's okay guys, he survived, just about. Right, here we go. And this is the other one, Dewey, Louie, Huey, I don't know, Kung fu -y. it's not, it's not, yeah, it, I, I don't entirely know which one it is, but it's one of them. Uh, and this is him. And he comes with a little book accessory with a compass inside, I think. So hopefully you're getting that in the shot. Hopefully I'm in the shot. I don't actually know. So hopefully. Um, so that's him. Yeah. There. Hopefully. Uh, hopefully. And yeah. So I didn't actually think they were going to be. I thought they were going to be Lego Chitari. I won't lie to you, but they're actually what I need, which is awesome. I'm so happy about that. And I'll say, I actually paid... These are the expensive ones from that set. Jack Skellington and Sally from A Nightmare Before Christmas as well. They are expensive and so are the three brothers. But I managed to pick both of these up. I think I paid £9 for both of them, which you, is expensive. But that's the, they're not in stock anymore. That's what you're going to have to pay. So I actually got a good deal on them and the guy really worked with me. So I do appreciate it. I'm hoping this whole time you've not actually been able to read my address. So I am just going to check that quickly and see in a second. You can't see my address. That's decent. Right, here we go. Okay, get into this one. Now, both of these sets that I've ordered here. Also, kids, don't use knives, please. If, you, if, you, if you're a parent, please make sure you undo your kids' stuff for them. Don't let kids new, use knives. Stay away from knives. Anyway, I know what both of these um, sets actually are, although this one is absolutely covered in sticky tape. How lovely that is. Just what I wanted. This is going to be harder to get into than I thought. Right, there might have been a random cut there, guys, but I might have showed you my address. So I'm just going to quickly cover that up, all right? Hang on. Right, even if you do see it, you won't see my address now. So that's something. Right, here we go. 
getting back into it. What was I saying? Oh yeah, so I know what both of these sets are. They're from the same theme, but I don't actually own them. And now I have the entire theme, apart from the collectible minifigures again, which I am looking into getting, but the Marvel ones have just gone through the roof since they've come out of retail. It's just ridiculous. I was looking the other day, the cheapest one's about four quid, which is like 50p more than you would pay for it brand new. Uh, so it's becoming annoying, but you know, what can you do, I guess? Is this wrapped in cellophane on the inside as well? Someone's done a lovely job of packaging this. Jesus. If you're still watching, commitment to you, because Christ almighty, this is terrible. All right. Oh, we're in, we're in, we're in, we're in. Just about, are we in? No, not quite. No, mate, this stuff just falls over everywhere. It's horrible. Tissue paper everywhere, literal tissue paper. Oh, lovely. I don't, it doesn't need to be this, like, uh, it's good wrapping, but it doesn't need to be this secure. It's literally a Lego set. It's not the Bank of England. Here we go. Oh, we're in. Can anyone tell what this, can anyone tell what this set is from this? If you can, comment down below, but I don't think you're gonna be able to. Right, uh, well, I've showed you the name now anyway. Right, let's see if it will. But we can birth it. Ah, come on. We're trying to birth it, but it's it's putting up a real struggle, guys. I won't lie. Right. Okay, we're getting into it now. Okay, we're into it now. We're into it now. Here we go. Here we go. It's coming loose. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh my God! Literally the most. It's wrapped in an Iceland bag. How lovely. Jesus. Ah, oh, we got there in the end. Finally! Right. What you are looking at is the Lego Marvel Studios What If set. Captain Carter and the Hydra, Strom Hydra Stomper. I love this set because it comes with the Red Skull, comes with Captain Carter and another mech build. And if you know anything about me, you know I like these mech builds. So I'm very happy with that. And I got it cheaper than it re retails for as well. I think I paid about £12 for that. But I did pay three pounds in postage, so about 15 quid. I'm not complaining that a 20 quid set. I did some deep diving on eBay, trust me. And I just realized I haven't actually given you a proper view of it. So I'll give you a proper look. Hopefully that's in shot. I'm just gonna check if it's in shot. It is in shot, right. So that's what it looks like from the front. It's wrapped in what I can only describe as like a trainer bag or a hoodie bag or something. So that's it from the front. And you can't really, I'll see if we can get into this. So I'm gonna open it one day anyway, here we go. Right, that's a bit better. Bang. There it is from the front. And there it is from the back. And all I can say is I'm very excited to build this, actually. I'm looking forward to it. It is going in the backlog, but I'm looking forward to it. So, on to the next one, if we can get into it. Right. Whilst I appreciate all of these people doing such amazing job wrapping these things for protection, you don't need to, like, it's not, it, like, really, come on, man. Like, look at this. More tape. Fragile. It is fragile, so I do appreciate that. But, like, come on, man. You know? Oh, right, switch knees. My knees hurting now. Right, here we go. Gently, carefully. Ah, good. I was hoping that was the case. Inside a box. A box inside a box. So you guys that were listening will definitely know that this is the other What If set. So I did say they were from the both, both from the same theme. So let's see what we're dealing with here. Bro, how? Locked up tighter than Fort Knox. Right, here we go. Oh God. Not quite, full start. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We got into it eventually. More uh, wrapping paper. Oh my God, it's a box within a box. Anyone want to see the other box? How much packaging do you want? Jesus, oh, and someone gave me some, and some Haribo. I don't know whether I should eat them or not. Someone gave me some Haribo. Thank you. Didn't really want Haribo, but thank you. I appreciate it. Right into the next box. Here we go. Open. 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 Here we go. 
Okay, this is just ridiculous. I just, I appreciate it, but it's so much effort to get into just a Lego set. I just want to show the people my Lego set, guys. Right, here we go. Is this, oh, no, wait, this is taped up as well. Great. Just, oh, you know what? There we go. Well, that smells nice, to be fair. Right, and, oh, oh crikey almighty. Jesus. Right. The other what if set. We got there in the end. Woo! Right. Here is the other what if set and the other set that I've purchased this week. I've just realised like most of this video you're going to be watching me babble on and literally try and like unwrap stuff. There's so much rubbish. Right. We moved all the rubbish. So as I was saying, this is the other what if set and this is set number 76194. Tony Stark, Sakarian, Iron Man. And again, I well, here it is from the front to start with. I hope that's in shot. So yeah, that's what it looks like from the far, uh, from the front. And I didn't actually realize, but it turns into a car on the back. So that's pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with this. And again, I think as this one actually retails for 30, again, I got this for about 18 with postage. So both of these have been a real steal for me. Both of these sets have as well. So I'm actually really happy about this. Another Valkyrie, of course. I know, I, I don't think Valkyrie's in the new Thor movie, or not movie, in the new Thor sets. I'm not sure, but I don't know. Anyway, Valkyrie and The Watcher. I'm super excited about having The Watcher and another Tony Stark, I guess. Also, I have just remembered, I did buy this other set the other day, and I guess I'll show it off set. Uh... 10782 Hulk versus Rhino Truck Showdown. Why did I buy it? Because I buy all the Marvel sets. That's why. But um, I'm not really excited for this. I like the Rhino. I like the new Spidey and I like Hulk. But I don't really, like, I'm not that excited about it. That's going to be one that sits in the backlog for a long time. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, we'll get to the outro and I'll see you there. Hopefully, you haven't nodded off watching me try and do, undo all those packages. Right, guys, I did actually say I was going to show you where I put uh, Huey, Louie or Dewey or one of them. I'm not entirely sure, but I'm going to show you now so you can see where they actually go. Um, I'm going to have to I'll, I'll switch the camera around. Hey, guys, this see. is the project I've been working on recently. Basically, if you can't see behind them, oh, well, not them, but the next ones, you'll see um, there's base plates. And the base plate is actually 208 wide and 16, uh, no, 208 long, 16 wide. So essentially, um, I'm making a massive stand for all of the collectible minifigs I have. So this is my entire series one of Harry Potter collectible minifigures. There you can see the break because I haven't got enough uh, base plates. So you will actually get to see what they look like eventually. Don't worry. I might even do a video on this, but I'm just giving you a glance now. Um, so this is all the Harry Potter ones into the Fantastic Beast ones. Then here is where that actually belongs with Mad Eye Moody. So it goes down here actually but i do actually need to fit that on there anyway disney series two now you can see i'm missing them now i'm not entirely sure if they are meant to go that way round or the other way round but for now i'm just happy that i've now officially completed the series two of disney's minifigures which i'm very happy about and this is the latest series of just normal collectible minifigures. And as you can see, I'm missing two of them. But there'll be a video on that another time. Anyway, to the out. Right, guys, that was the first ever LEGO haul video or official LEGO haul video. Let's, let's, let's call it that. Again, I will be experimenting with how I film them, where I'm going to film them and stuff. My LEGO room's not finished, all right? So, yeah, just bear with me. And hopefully you enjoyed a look at my project, which I'm working on up there. I don't think it's in shot at the moment. But hopefully you enjoyed a little preview of that. And yeah, these are the sets I've got and I'm pretty happy with them. And again, if you like this sort of stuff and you want me to keep doing it, please like, please comment, subscribe. That would be amazing. But I'm going to keep doing haul videos. I buy Lego every week. It's not something that I don't, I, I, I just always buy Lego. Okay. If I do a proper Bricklink parts order, I will, do, I, I will film that. But... I'm not really a mock maker, like I have been in the past, but right now I'm not. So a Bricklink parts order may or may not happen, but 
you never know anyway but i'll always document all the sets i'm buying so hopefully you've enjoyed a look at that at least um i got free harry bow even though i didn't want them but thank you thank you for the free harry bow and uh yeah hopefully you enjoyed this video guys and if you did please like comment subscribe also check out my instagram down in the link down below link down below i think yeah link down below my instagram please check it out and yeah Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.